here we are so the aim of this video is to just offer two good examples of male and female green tree python sheds now to the right we have a male green tree python shed and to the left we have a female green tree python shed now since I got into this into the conjurer keeping I've always had a hard time distinguishing, distinguishing between males and females. And I thought, you know, since I have animals of age, and I do have two perfect sheds in my hands, just why not do it? So here you go. To the left a female, to the right a male shed. Now of course, uh, there are some other differences between males and females, you know, head shape and tail length and everything but I'm not gonna go into this as it depends on locality as well I wouldn't want to go into it I just want to put it out there and show a good example let's see if we can actually oh there we go it's windy today sunny and windy in Greece so there you have it. Let me just try to pick it up. This is the female butterfly shaped shed. I'm not really getting a good zoom in. But you can definitely see it now. There it is. It's rock hard by the way. You know, contrary to the entire shed. It really is like rock hard. You can see. Try to pull it back. Pulls up back the entire shed. And these are the sperm plugs. Right there. So there you have it. Two good examples. In case you were wondering. And since it's Easter. I mean, it's not anymore, it used to be. I have uh, an Easter egg here for you. <laughs> it's a green tree python egg. Did you get the joke? Easter egg, Easter egg, and bah, I thought it was funny. So there's that. Peace out.